Good morning, and welcome to Daily Morning Prayer. This is for Tuesday, May 5th. Uh, We are continuing with suffrages, which is found, uh, also known as responsive prayer, uh, which is found in the ELW, the Cranberry Hymnal, page 328. If you don't have an ELW with you, that's okay. You can just listen and follow along just fine, I promise. Uh, Before we begin that, we will begin with a song. And our song this week is uh, written by Kirk Franklin, and it is called Now Behold the Lamb, and we will sing the first verse through twice. If you are following along in the ELW, that's hymn number 341. Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, who bore all my sin that I may live again, the precious Lamb of God. Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, who bore all my sin that I may live again, the precious Lamb of God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You are invited to confess the faith of the church using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is God that made us, and we are the Lord's. We are God's people, the sheep of God's pasture. Enter the Lord's gates with thanksgiving and God's courts with praise. Give thanks to God, bless God's name. For the Lord is good, God's steadfast love endures forever, and God's faithfulness to all generations. Our reading for this morning is, comes from Ezekiel chapter 34, continuing on with chapter 34, verses 23 through 31. I will set up over my people one shepherd, says God, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. I will make with them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the woods securely. I will make them and the region around my hill a blessing. And I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield its increase. They shall be secure on their soil, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I break the bars of their yoke and save them from the hands of those who enslave them. They shall no more be plunder for the nations, nor shall the animals of the land devour them. They shall live in safety, and no one shall make them afraid. I will provide for them a splendid vegetation so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, 
and no longer suffer the insults of the nations. They shall know that I, the Lord their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says the Lord God. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says the Lord. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness. O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and the seas that are far away, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, and bless God's holy name. You redeem my life from the grave and crown me with mercy and steadfast love. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God Almighty, and Lord Jesus Christ, grant us, we pray, to be grounded and settled in your truth by the coming of the Holy Spirit into our hearts. That which we know not, reveal. That which is wanting in us, fill up. That which we know, confirm. And keep us blameless in your service, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.